what's up? So today, I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to do, but my goals are to get this motor all taken apart. This is the 2.5 liter that I'm putting in. So I'm gonna try to get this head off and then this timing cover off and the oil pan off. Basically get it stripped down, ready to rebuild. And then I'm also going to be going over kind of what parts you need to take off of here and which ones you need to reuse from the 2.3. So this here is the old 2.3 that I had that came out of the Speed 6. I've already got it taken all apart. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is cylinder four. And you can see that the piston in there is a little bit crooked. That means that's just because the rod is broken. Here's the hole in the block. This is where the starter was, and that's why my starter was cracked in half. I'll try to put a picture of it in right now of the starter. But you can see there's the crank in there, and that's a really pretty big hole. And there's even a little hole on the other side of it as well. Yeah, right down here, there's a hole right behind the transfer case. But luckily, nothing happened to the transfer case. So, yeah, this is the old 2.3. She's done. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is probably just taking this wiring harness off because I really don't need it at all for anything. Why does this always happen whenever you try to pick up a camera? Anyway, I got the harness out, or off, not really out. All right, I closed the door to try to block some of that noise. But anyway, I got the wiring harness off. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, take this manifold off. It's the intake manifold. And then I think I'm going to try to like wire wheel this whole block so that I can paint it. Got the block all painted. It looks pretty good. It's a way, it's at least more uniform and a little bit more shiny than it was. And here's a look at the other side. So don't worry about all this stuff being oversprayed. Like almost none of this is gonna be used. Um, I'm probably just gonna reuse this thermostat, but eh, you're not gonna really see it anyways. Not reusing this. Not gonna use this hose. Not gonna use this oil filter housing. And this stud needs to come out. Oil pan. I didn't paint because I'm not using this oil pan. You have to use the speed oil pan. Same thing with the timing cover. I didn't paint it. So I'm going to be using the speed timing cover because these will not um, bolt up to the motor mounts. This tensioner will also be gone. because You have to use the speed tensioner that goes over there. And also all of the accessories will come from the speed There'll be the crank, the idler pulley, the tensioner, and the only thing you can reuse is this water pump. It's, it looks identical, even the pulley is the same. The oil filter will come from the speed because it has the cooler on it. And then the head will also need to come off. But guys, look how big these ports are. Like I, don't, I don't have my speed head here right now, but these are way bigger than the speed ports. So it's kind of crazy. I wish we could use this, but I mean, I guess you could, but you'd have to do a lot of wiring and ECU work. I don't want to do all that. Another thing you can't use is the snock sensor. It won't plug into the speed. You have to use the speed one. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for the, uh, what you need to use. So next I'm going to start taking this valve cover off and then I'm going to get this timing cover off. All right, so I've got the valve cover all off. And next I'm going to work on taking all this, this whole timing cover off. There's like a million little eight mil screws or bolts all the way around it. Just take all those off. And then last you'll need to take off these three and this one 13 mil bolt. And then it just pops right off. All right, now all these bolts are out. You should be able to just get a little pry bar on here. Gently pry it out. Okay, so I just learned something. This little tensioner right here actually bolts into the timing cover right here. It's not like that on the speed because for one, this isn't even here. 
Next, I'm going to be taking off these gears right here. I'm going to be putting both of these on the speed. Now, I've heard that the exhaust cams are the same. So, theoretically, I could just leave this on here and just put this into the speed head. But I want to make sure that I'm putting the cams back with the caps that it came with over there. So, yeah, I'm going to be switching this onto the speed and as well as this gear. And I'm going to be using all of this timing stuff for the speed. And here's my pile of 2.5 stuff that I'm not using. All that stuff is going to be sold or thrown away probably. But yeah, the timing's not that hard. It's just, it's just a couple of bolts. One right here, one right here. And then for this, you're going to need like a little pin to hold this in place. All right, so I figured out how to get this thing to stay inside. There's some little teeth in here. You gotta use like, you need like a little pick to hold the little gold part up and then use your hands and compress it. And then you'll see in here, you can shove a little pin and it'll hold it in place. So now it's loose. So next you can go ahead and take off these two bolts and then you can go ahead and get the chain off. And then these two bolts for the cam gears so now i have all the timing stuff off and the only thing you want to do is you, you need to take this oil pump tensioner out so you can get this chain off so you can get the sprocket out because there's a, a friction washer behind this pulley that needs to be replaced with a new one um all i did was take it apart and remove it i haven't actually put the new one in yet because you're going to want to clean it all up first so when i'm ready to actually put the vvt back together that's when i'll do this Gonna move on to the cam removing the cams so you want to start cracking from the outside in so we're going to just start here and just crack this loose crack these two loose and then this one this one this one we're just going to crack them loose first and then we'll give it like a turn each for like just multiple passes so you don't risk breaking the cams the same thing with the with this cam now on the speed motors every single one of these are labeled like it'll say E1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it'll also have an arrow pointing this way. On the 2.5, it doesn't have those. If you're going to reuse them, it would be best to label all of these. And it's going to be the same thing with the buckets underneath. All of these need to go back in the same position they were. Now on the speed motor, I just laid everything out how it came out so that it's all in the same, in the same exact position it was in. But... <clears throat> But on this motor, I'm not really going to keep track of it because I don't plan on ever using this head or these cans. All right, I've got the cams out. Now, I just realized that I can just leave the buckets in the head for the 2.5. On the 2.3, I had to have the machine shop look at it, so I actually took them out. But for the 2.5, they can all just stay in here. And then the head studs are actually different than the speed. It's actually a uh, T55. And same thing with the cams. You want to work from the outside so do each end just crack it loose and then work your way in to the middle and then just crack them all loose from the outside in and then just turn it little by little until it's all loose and then you can zap them out i'm going to be using my impact but if you don't have one you can just use a long breaker bar so the next clip you see i'm gonna have this head off that's what she said all right i've got the head all off so now I'm just waiting for my my speed head to get from get back from the machine shop, which they can't really do anything until I get valves, new valves in, because cylinder four on the old head was broken. I showed you guys that earlier. But anyway, this block looks pretty good. I mean it only had 31,000 on it, so not surprised. I think the last thing I'm probably going to do today is just clean up this mating surface and clean up these pistons but yeah this thing looks really good the walls are perfect probably can't really see down in here but kind of so here we have the two different oil pans from the motors this one here is from the 2.3 and this one here is from the 2.5 now they're pretty similar but the only reason you can't use this one 
is because as you can see here, the 2.3 has a dipstick on the oil pan and this one does not. And that's because the dipstick on the 2.5 actually goes through this little hole through the head. So, and the speed isn't like that. So you have, so since we're changing the head, we have to change to the 2.3 pan. And while we're at it, since we have to swap the 2.3 pan, the pickup tube bolts onto the oil pump. We have to take this off of the 2.5 and put the 2.3 pickup tube on there. A lot of people choose to delete their balance shafts, but I plan on leaving mine in. It should, I'm just going to be use mine as mostly as a daily driver. So I'm just going to leave it in and see how it is. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. Don't really have a lot left that I can really do. I'm still waiting on a bunch of parts. Well, not a bunch, but mostly just waiting on parts for my head. So hopefully the next video I can start like have everything painted and start assembling this thing but we'll just see how how it goes next weekend and how many parts i get but until next time i'll see you guys later